<laughs> yeah. All right, Chaz here. We are in scenic, sunny Santa Cruz, California. And today we're gonna hang out with Kathy Pruitt. So Kathy was a gnarly downhill mountain bike racer, like the shreddiest of shred, but has recently fully transitioned over to endurance gravel. They're entirely different disciplines. To transfer from a downhill mountain biker to an endurance athlete is crazy. So uh, we're in Santa Cruz. It's a little foggy right now because it's early in the morning, but we're gonna go uh, hang out with Kathy. That's my gravel bike, so you can go off road. <laughs> what we're talking, talking about, we're talking about whales because we're gonna have a whale good time. hi -o! <laughs> this was the first place that I learned about bike. My dad and I would drive over Highway 17 from San Jose and ride in Wilder Ranch. Um, you know, pretty much every weekend. And I see these guys like full face helmets and like armor, and they're loading up in the back of like a truck, like the wooden yeah, yeah. on the side. Huge just, bikes. Like, hanging on, and I'm like, what are they doing? And I, and I asked later at the bike shop what, what was up with that, and they're like, those are downhill bikes. Those are downhillers. Like, yeah, those are downhillers. <laughs> you have bar ends, you're dorky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So fast forward, later that fall, I asked if we could go do a, a downhill race, I think. It was a downhill race or a slalom race or something up at Donner Ski Ranch. Yeah. And he's like, sure, like, let's try it, you know? Super supportive parents, couldn't have done these things without them. And, you know, it was my idea, let's go. So it was one of those downhill races where you all started at the same time. Like a mass start Just downhill? like motocross. Cool. I did really well, or like, I got second or won or something. I think I maybe won, I can't remember. Yeah. And then there was a slalom race, and. I almost won that. And then I did the whole California State Series and I won every single round, was like 12. <laughs> yeah! Wilder Ranch goes pretty far out this way. And it goes up to Empire Gray, which is here. We got yes. the 101 Explorers. Yeah, in the flesh. In the flesh. What are you uh, What are you running down there? What's, what's the vibe? What's going on? Well, on this bike, I have it set up a little bit more aggressive because it's like my drop bar mountain bike. <laughs> so I've got 42. Resolute WTBs on here. 42 is not like necessarily super big, but when you mount them on a rim like this, the Explorer rim, which uses that Zip Moto mountain bike technology, it actually like spreads that tire size out. So like if you go to measure your tire with a rim that's wider, you put your tire on it, you have more surface area. And I think you have a better ride. I can use, run way less pressure with this. I have 18 and 20. You're running 18 and 20? Yeah. Woo, these that's shreddy. Are... Full send. So downhill, and this, this would be like, what, like a, a six out of 10, a seven out of 10? This would be like Rampage style. Um, they've never really had women in Rampage, but they just started women, a group of chicks, awesome, to do their own Rampage. Rampage blows my mind. So that is a good sign, because I think that means that women are super progressing. The original Peloton. <laughs> okay. You're on fire right now. Come on, that's amazing. Campus, <laughs> campus, is campus trails. Campus trails. We're yep. in the campus trails. And we're going to check out Kathy's extra sick whip. What do we got going on here? This is my Canyon Grizzle. Looks like it's got some huge tire clearance. You're running 42s, and there's like a ton of room right there. Yep, so I've got 42s on here exactly. And this has got the mullet set up um, versus my other bike has the two by more kind of road stuff. And th this bike to me goes up anything with that um, Eagle cassette. Yeah. In downhill and enduro, I feel like I know how to practice. I can bike ready like this is what you do this is what I do yeah, to yeah. get ready to be successful to be prepared gravel I'm literally like hit and miss like I'm like striking out and I'm like or hit like you know in my mind and thinking yeah. like some things were great and then other things have been like massive failures where I'm laying on the side of the dirt and I'm just like I've been there cramped fully cramped fully cracked just yeah like, and you're like how did this happen like I it started I, so well I did all these things <laughs> to prepare and you know, it's, for me, it's been a learning experience. How can I accomplish my goals in this new sport? Yeah. And the biggest motivator, honestly, is if I see somebody and they kind of like, might think I can't do it, or they meet me and they're like, oh, I thought you were, you know, a downhill racer, or, or I can't believe you're Ryan Biker, like, you never thought you'd do that. It's hard to really like explain it in one sentence, but I, the more that I feel like I'm not supposed to try to do something, like the more it makes me want to do it. And it's yeah. not just for me too, it's to really like do a big like middle finger to society saying like, this is who you are, this is probably who you're always going to be. 
And you probably won't break out of that because that's just what most people do. You know, like let's break that. Like let's yeah. like try different stuff and 100%. let's like go to our grave a little beat up and broken. But we doing a video call. This is the outro. Oh god. All right. <laughs> so we just got done riding some really gnarly mountain bike trails on our gravel bikes because you know downhill world champion right here just did that. So I had to show him all the good stuff. It doesn't was, matter what bike we're on. It was good. It was mildly <laughs> terrifying. Remember, there is no label for your bikes. Yeah. Just do whatever you want. Just go out there, have fun. One Be should safe. one should even say you should explore. I think you should explore. Hey -o. Hit the like button, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye.